Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Yes, uh, we, we are stepping on toes, I know, but well, we are just doing our Christian duty. So, what are we talking about today? To ink or not to ink? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for today too. We bless you for another week. As we study, help us and be with us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yes, to ink or not to ink? Because the whole month we are talking about fashion. The way we dress and the way we present ourselves and how we carry ourselves around. Is the question of tattoo an issue? Because these days, you wonder oh, big men and women of God are doing it. And you, you just wonder whether <laughs> it is right. But you know, tattooing is a form of body modification made by injecting ink, dice, or pilgrims, uh, either uh, indelible or temporary to the skin and designing it and doing all kinds of this. Tattooing or tattoo may span from different cultures and different uh, what you call areas. And people do all kinds of symbols that have a meaning for themselves. That they feel that, yes, I like this and so I put it on. Even, people will even put on the image of Christ on their bodies and feel that, yes, then it makes it right. <laughs> the question is, is the Bible in support of it? The Bible is very clear, very clear in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. Leviticus 19, 28, look at it. Never cut your bodies, murmuring for the dead, or mark your skin with tattoos, for I am the Lord. Simple. God's word is straight on it. God says that never mark your bodies with tattoos. And so, God is simply straightforward on it. You see, just imagine that you give your car to a friend and warns him that, please, let it come back in good shape. Then your friend comes back with a car and there are all kinds of scratches on the car. How would you feel? God has given us this body. And yet, we want to change it. We want to add certain things. We want to put certain artwork on them and do all kinds of things. People of God. The Bible in Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 4, is clear. Do not worship the Lord your God in the way these pagans worship their gods. The pagans worship their gods in a certain way. How do they do it? In 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 36, it is clear that they shout loud and following their normal customs, they cut themselves with swords and knives. They cut themselves. So they do all kinds of things and they ink their bodies and they do all kinds of things against them. Some people will say that ah, all these verses are Old Testament. It is no New Testament, so we can just do it after all. Look, people of God, from a purely New Testament perspective, you should know that the body is the temple of God. Do you want to promote something that is not godly, something that God is against it? Think about it. How will you look in the future when your body begins to wrinkle with all kinds of tattoos? And when you are putting these artwork on your skin and you appear before God, or you even appear before somebody to convert that person by those tattoos, does it tell of Christ? These are the things you want to ask yourself because your bodies are the temple of God. If you have all kinds of marks and all kinds of decorations on the body, we should be careful. Now, if you already have a tattoo, I am not saying that and go and kill yourself. No. If you did it before you knew Christ, that is a different ball game. If you have done it already, it's fine. Just leave it. But if you are now about going to do it because somebody has done it, because a friend has done it, because uh, what do you call it, a celebrity has done it, because a man of God or a woman of God tells you that I have done a tattoo, and so you also want to go and do it, for what reason? Look, we are going to stand in judgment. I keep saying it. The fact that somebody else who is a pastor, who is a role model, has done it, doesn't give you a justification. Because look, if you appear before God and you tell God that, God, I have a tattoo. And peradventure, God says that, well, I don't like tattoo. And so you are not a, a child, uh, somebody I know. And they say, hey, God, it wasn't me. My pastor has done it. And that was why I also went to do it. Do you think that God will wake up of his, from his throne and clap for you? Pa, 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 pa. If God will clap for you, then go ahead and do it. I can't tell you not to do it or to do it. But you know clearly. Why do you want to provide justification for something that the scripture has been clear? That do not tattoo. And you are saying that is the mark of civilization. is the mark of the period. And so you just want to tattoo. Well, if you want to ink, go and ink. 
But know that you are going to give an account. You are surely going to give an account. In conclusion, we are to offer our bodies as living sacrifice unto God. Our bodies are the temple of God. So, whatever you put on it, you must be careful to give an account. You must be careful to give a judgment. Does that mark show that you are a Christian? Do you realize that even for some companies and for some uh, what you call employment, sometimes if you have to be employed in the, in the security service, if you have a tattoo, no, they won't pick you. Even on earth, if you have a tattoo and you want to be employed in certain establishments, they won't take you. For whatever reasons, you all know. So come on, people of God, let's be careful and let's be minded. The fact that other persons are doing it is not enough justification for you also to do it. You know your God. Let us pray. Father, help us to be able to live beyond the times and live for you at all times. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Continue to order ourselves. Deliver us from trouble, pain, anxiety, and perplexity. And we'll give you worship and honor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray thanksgiving. Amen. People of God, God bless you. Do have a wonderful week. And know that next week, ha-ha, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. God bless you. See you. Bye.